Hello, I'd like to take a few minutes today to show you an effective way to mitigate the chance of getting a bad fix using GNSS in XPad by taking multiple measurements for a single point. Most of this is automated and it's a little different than the videos I've made on advanced point averaging in the past. So let's get started. Let's make a new job. Click on accept here. And I'll show you under settings and GNSS on the survey tab at the bottom, there's an average coordinates tolerance setting. I've got it set to six hundredths for horizontal and eight hundredths for vertical. Let's go back. We'll go to survey and let's store our first point, point number 1001. I'm going to change to a control point and measure and store. We'll get a 15 second average. I like taking short averages, 15 seconds, and multiple ones. I think it's a lot more reliable than taking a long two minute average because in between shots, I'm going to dump the receiver. Now in XPad, the dump the receiver, if you double click on the black bar at the top where it says RTK fixed, it'll reset the RTK. And the way that it resets the RTK is it turns off tracking individually for each and all of the constellations. Waits five seconds and then it turns them back on again. So we'll wait for a second here to get fixed. Got a green dot. I'm going to click on the 1001 and tell it that I want to remeasure that point. That changes the point number of the point that I'm going to take to 1001 from 1002. I'm still on control point. I'll click on measure and store, click on measure again, and additional measure. Hopefully it's going to warm up at some point here in Utah. This has been a cold winter. We've got our second point and you can see that both of the two measurements that I've taken are within a hundredth horizontally and vertically of the average of the two points. That's a good sign. I'll accept that. I'm going to dump the receiver again. Oops. We'll take a third point. Note position. Autonomous. Autonomous. Fixed position. Wait for a green dot. We're going to remeasure point 1001. Measure and store. Click on measure, additional measure another 15 seconds and then I will try and pull this receiver off the quick connect and store bad point point looked great the quick connect I have on here is frozen so I'm going to take another measure. I'm not going to bother dumping it because I've obviously got a bad fix that I'm simulating by moving the receiver more than my tolerance. Click on measure and store, measure again, additional measure. This is simulating a bad fix where the receiver thinks it's got blue sky fix and you'll see that that position is busted horizontally vertically it's not bad I'm going to keep that fourth shot I'll accept it and then I'll dump the receiver again we'll wait for it to fix for a green dot up there on the top. Let's 
trying to Okay, I'm going to measure a fifth point here with the point set to 1001. I'll click on measure and store and then measure an additional measure. My hands are so cold that I can't accurately click on the screen of this data collector. And I'm going to keep the fifth shot, obviously. It's going to look good once we map that out. Now what I want to show you is if we go to job and then points and measurements, and we go to the measurement, you can see my five measurements there. You can also see that they're all fixed and that they have extremely good precisions. Three four thousandths. That's great. All of these shots look great. But if we go to the points, that point is shown as being an average. If I click on it and select edit, there's a new tab labeled average. And if I look at that tab, I can see that the fourth point that I took has a delta distance of 0.81 feet. I suspect that's a bad point. I can map it out at this point, and then you see all of my residuals drop to almost zero. I'm going to accept that change. XPAT recomputes the point position, so now the point is formed from four measurements with the fifth bad measurement being thrown out. The chance of getting two bad fixes on separate dumps, so we're reacquiring a position after a full satellite dump, the chance of getting two bad fixes that match horizontally and vertically to a couple hundreds is zero. Now I know that I'm out here in the wide open. This technique is probably not needed if you're in the open, but if you're in heavy tree canopy, in a deep canyon, have an obstructed view to the south, this is how you can make sure that you're storing good shots. Now I've got two more videos planned. In the second video, we're going to collect data under heavy canopy, but we're going to use two bases that are in different locations, diagonally opposite positions across the job. And then in the third video, we're going to use two separate uh, bases, and we're going to acquire static data on each of the points that we store, post-process that data. So we'll have multiple RTK shots, and we'll have post-processed results which we can then adjust together. So three videos on this subject. This is the first of three. I've got to go in and warm up. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.